Hey, what's up, Code Aid the Nation? We're back with our week three unplugged activity. And for this very special unplugged activity, I'm gonna have to ask for help from my sister, Camille. Hey, everyone. For this unplugged activity, we're gonna have an awesome dance party. And it'll be up to Camille to give me easy to understand instructions so that I can perform the dance as fast as possible. Let's get into the first song. Let's dance. Clap, 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 head, waist, head, waist, clap, 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 head, waist, head, waist. All right, all right, not too bad, not too bad. Now, that was pretty good, but maybe there's something else we can do to make it easier for me to understand. How about we do loops? Clap three times, head hips two times. Clap three times, head hips two times. All right, all right, now we're cooking. So is there anything else we can do? How about we have two inner loops inside of one outer loop. The first inner loop, you clap three times. The second inner loop, you put your hands on your head and waist two times. All of that will be a part of one outer loop that you repeat two times. All right, that's exactly what we needed. So the big takeaway here is that the more loops we use, the faster I was able to complete the dance because it was easier for me to understand what the instructions actually were and what Camille was trying to explain to me the more loops we used. Now imagine how useful this must actually be for programmers who are writing their own code. That's it for this week's Unplugged activity. Hope to see you on the next one.